Welcome back to the InfraVision for me development update. The current week is week 43 and this week we only got three updates so this shouldn't take much of your time. The first update is related to UI extensions in request templates. Currently when you are a specialist and you have the permission to modify a request you can also modify the fields that come from UI extensions. And in some scenarios it actually makes sense to prevent specialists from modifying existing UI extension fields. For example, when you forward a request to an external account. So let's look at this example. We are requesting guest Wi-Fi access. Um, we use a UI extension to provide the full name of the person that wants to have access the date on which he would like to have access. We click save and for whatever reason we need to forward this request to an external provider which is global net in our demo environment. So we click save and now this request has been forwarded to global net. And the question is of course, would it make sense to enable GlobalNet to either modify the full name of the person or the date on which he would like to have Wi-Fi access? And the answer is no, because that is not up to GlobalNet to decide that. So when we switch to the GlobalNet account, pick up the existing request, open it in edit mode, and now we see that we cannot modify the details that were coming from the UI extension. Now it's always a bit critical to try and define all the rules in where you can no longer modify an existing request, specifically the fields that are coming from a UI extension. So let's simplify this as, as much as possible. If you are forwarding a request to a trusted account, so it's not under the same directory account as you are currently working in, then those specialists can no longer modify the fields in a UI extension. The next update is related to the overview of billable users. So when you go to the settings console, select billable users, you will see that there's now a graph included, which shows you the historical trend of the number of user months that you are consuming. Now I recently resetted my demo environment, so there's not much data in this, but hopefully you get the idea. So this is the total number of user months that were consumed in October. You can also click this checkbox, which also is not very impressive with the current state of my data. But then you get a breakdown of the number of subscriptions per account. So you can see whether or not they were on the directory account level or in my case, there was one individual subscription consumed only in the widget data center account. And when we make a short sidestep to our own QA environment, you see what it looks like when you have one year worth of data. And notice that in our QA environment, the group by account checkbox is missing because we do not have a directory account. So we only have one standalone account basically. And what is also nice to know is that the same report is also available as a official report in the report section so that you can include it in one of your dashboards as well. And here is also the group by account checkbox available and the top number of accounts that you want to have drill downs uh, for in your graphs. And the last update for this week is related to custom links. So again, you need to be in the settings console, select custom links. And when you look at the parameters that are available, you will see that there are a few new ones that all start with the word me, which means that they are related to the user that is currently logged in into for me. So if you want to generate custom links that include information from the currently logged in person in the link, like this simple example, so how do we make an action menu item that will retrieve the person record of the currently logged in user, which in my case is Frederick Anderson in the global net account. 
you would make a link similar to this one and include the me.id field in there. Click save. We go to the action menu, click the my person record and you see that you immediately get the person record of yourself in this case. And that concludes the overview for the updates for this week. Thank you for watching, have a great week and see you next time.